Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with today's daily diary video. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's daily diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be Matthew chapter 25. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise, and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps, while the bridegroom tarried. They all slumbered and slept. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, Give us of your oil, for our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered, saying, Not so, lest there not be enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell, and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage, and the door was shut. Afterward came also the other virgin, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. For the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country, who called his own servants and delivered unto them his goods. And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, and straightway took his journey. Then, he that had received five talents went and traded with the same and made them five other talents. And likewise, he that had received two, he also gained other two. But he that had received one went and digged in the earth and hid his Lord's money. After a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And so he that had, re he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest, deliveredest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. His Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. He also that had received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliveredest, deliveredest me unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Then he which had received the one talent came and said, Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, and gathering where thou hast not strewn. And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast th that is thine. His Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap not where I sowed not, and gather where I have not strewn. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. Take therefore the talent from him, and give it unto him which hath ten talents. For unto every one that hath shall be given, and he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that which he hath. And cast ye the unprofitable servant into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall be gathered all nations, and he shall separate them one from another, as a shepherd divideth his sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was a hunger, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in. Naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, 
and gave thee drink? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Then shall he say also unto them that on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was a hungered, and ye gave me no meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me not in naked, and ye clothed me not sick, and in prison ye visited me not. Then shall they also answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee a hungered, or a thirst, or a stranger, or naked, or sick, or in prison, and did not minister unto thee? Then shall he answer them, saying, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye did it not to one of thee of the least of these, ye did it not to me. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the righteous into eternal, into life eternal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to you. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The lesson I want to take from the chapters, the readings today, comes from the parable of the towns. If you look at the, the person who gets five towns, he brings five towns back for his ability. The person with two towns also then brings two towns back for his ability. Now, if you look at this person here who was given one talent, first and foremost, he insults the man who gave him the money in the first place. Then he says, And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. There are several passages in the Bible throughout from so many different perspectives of how cowards are, do not make the kingdom of heaven. Those who are, are bullies, those who cannot endure persecution and remain a good person, those who do wrong things instead of right things, those cowards go to hell. This much is a certainty in the kingdom of heaven. Now, if you look again at the passage from the man with one talent, it is unmistakable the language used here to describe from Lord Jesus Christ of these people who without a doubt are not worthy of the kingdom of heaven. He says, the, the, the man with one talent says, And I was afraid and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. You know, this reminds me of a character in Game of Thrones, if you're watching this a long time after the, the re reading of this video. Check out a show called Game of Thrones, which aired in the 2010s. It's since been remembered as a much worse show than it was in its prime because of how the writers chose to end the show. Uh, in the sense that instead of one of the characters that you were rooting for sitting on the Iron Throne, as they say at the end, a lot of them unfortunately did not receive the ending that the fans wanted, so it ended a little bit uh, less popular than it, than, it, than it was meant to, I think. Either way... There's a character called Sir Jano Slint, who starts the show as the commander, the first time you meet him, he's the commander of the, 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 city, the city watch. And what happens is, he first and foremost uh, uh, sells his soul, betraying one of the characters to show he's a coward. Then after that, uh, the, the, the hand of the king, the dwarf Tyrion, knows that he's a coward, so he sends him to the night wa night's watch. At the Night's Watch, he continues his cowardly tactics, making fun of other people instead of taking any onus for himself. And as a result, what happens is, eventually it comes time to fight, and Sir Janos uh, hides in the cell with the women, with, with a woman, because he's afraid, and he, and, he, and he pees himself. Because he's a coward, he's afraid of a knife, he's afraid of battle, he's afraid of all these things that men glorify. Being unafraid of battle, being unafraid of the knife, being unafraid of uh, persecution, whatever it is. Now, Sir Janos is a, a coward and a bully at the same time. As are most bullies. All bullies, really. And uh, I'll say most bullies. And uh, Sir Janos, who eventually, uh, people, they, you know, in his moment, he's told to take a keep in a place called Gregar. He's supposed to take leadership of that keep. So Janos says no, and he makes a mockery of the, the leader of the Night's Watch, um, the commander of the Night's Watch, uh, Jon Snow at this time. So Jon uh, says that, so Janos should be executed for treason. 
not for treason, but he, he, he disobeys a bl an open command from the commander of the Night's Watch. And as a res the, the Lord Commander is called. And as a result, right before John executes him, which comes in stark contrast to some of the other members of the Night, Night's Watch, like Sir Alistair Thorne, who is a brave character and takes his death like a man. Sir Genos is a coward, starts crying and says he, he admits he was always scared. That's who I think of with this passage right here, Sir Janos Slint. From the beginning, he's a known coward, a bully, and not loyal to anything because he's afraid. And as Lord Janos says, he's always been afraid. That's the quote. And the passage from the man with one talent says, And I was afraid, and went and hid thy talent in the earth. Lo, there thou hast that is thine. That passage right there says a lot about the kingdom of God. Several times in my life, as I discuss in the Gospel of Lord Nairn, uh, chapter uh, 9, I have been bullied. Every single time I face the problem head on. Because I know in my soul two things. First and foremost, if you don't face your bullies, you'll always be afraid. And I will never face that fear of not standing up to those who try to bully me. And second, a bully is typically... Somebody trying to do something to you because they're afraid of something. So this has, now my perspective has nothing to do with that fact. All right. I don't care about Sir Janus's perspective. I know for myself, as, as, as Captain America very bravely says in the whole Marvel series, you have to stand up, fight back, push back for yourself. And that's the truth of life. Whatever you do, understand that. If you ever give an inch to your bullies, they'll take a mile. And that's why as Lord Nairn White, I devoutly preach that kind of strength as is taught in the Gospel of Lord Nairn, chapter 9. From none other than who else? The Spirit of God, the Lion of God, the one true God. Amen. Now, as I transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video. Today, I worked out my chest. After that, I worked my software developer job. And with no further achievements since yesterday's Daily Diary video. I want to say thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, as it greatly helps the channel. Light be with you all. Take care, and thanks again.